hello students this is the chapter 6 our constitution first thing is that we need to read whole lesson first try to understand those things properly so in short i am just going to tell you about something so just try to understand so first of all constitution of india how in our school we are maintaining rules and regulations everything so same way to run the country also we need some rules so these rules are written in a book that is called constitution and accordingly we need to obey this rules next thing the making of our constitution how our constitution made up so as i underline the lines we can see after the independence we were not having any kind of constitution so after that only we prepared with with mr mm. v r ambedkar okay a complete of six members called the drafting committee was written task of in the drafting this new constitution it was headed by dr v r ambedkar therefore ambedkar is also the father also called father of the indian constitution finally november 1949 the members of the constitution assembly signed the draft and then constitution came into the effect 26 january 1950 so from that day onwards we are celebrating the constitution republic day then coming to the some of the part of this constitution like a first one is given the preamble preamble like our all books of the constitution also start with the short introduction in this short introduction it is called preamble preamble is so the preamble is long sentence which lays down the guiding principles of the constitution it describes the kind of nations that is the people of india want and rights that are guaranteed to each and every one of them this sentence started with the words we the people which signifies the constitution in created by the people themselves so then here in the preamble state that india would be a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic which means that would be the independent country whose wealth and the resources would be shared by all its citizen we all can then all of this are the meanings are given we will read that coming to the next is fundamental rights so same way in our country in our constitution we have some fundamental rights and some duties so these are the fundamental rights are given right to equality right to freedom right against exploitation right to freedom of religion culture and educational rights right to constitutional remedies right to education so these are the rights which we have by the constitution of india and we have some duties also duties are like a respecting the national flag national anthem and the national symbols respect the constitution of india value the heritage and protect the culture of india protect the natural environment and public property be proud of his country help in the defense of his country and protect in a time of danger promote brotherhood and treat all citizens equally these are the 
activities so the next is directive principles of state policy to run the state and they are also having some policies for the like a uh, providing work for everyone equal pay for equal work of both men women so these are the state government policies these are then next proper working conditions in the area of work ensuring that every child gets free education ensuring wealth uh, yeah. uh, wealth is not concentrated the hands of uh, uh, only a few rich people and the poor are not exploited providing a decent standard of living for everyone so these are the things need to take care by the state government by every state this is the short introduction of this chapter then later we will discuss about exercise and question answer in the next video thank you everyone